Our next example problem asked us the following. You have two balloons at the same pressure and temperature. One balloon contains hydrogen gas and the other contains an unknown gas. And here our balloon on our left has hydrogen. We have 1.00 liters and 0 0.0900 grams of hydrogen gas. Our balloon here on the right is an unknown gas X with 1.00 liter volume and 1.44 grams of the gas. We're now asked to calculate the molecular weight of X. So remember that in general, our molecular weight for a gas X is going to be grams of X divided by moles of X. Well, we're given the amount of grams of our molecular weight X. So we can put that in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to need to take the values given here to solve for the moles of X. And this will be a direct application of Avogadro's law, where Avogadro says V1 over N1 is going to equal V2 over N2. So here we can say our, our initial volumes are from the hydrogen uh, balloon, which would be 1.00 liters of the gas divided by, and here we're given 0 0.0900 grams. We're going to have to take that 0 0.0900 grams of H2 and convert it over to moles. So one mole of H2, remember by looking at the periodic table, is 2.02 .02 grams. Okay, So this quantity we're going to have to use here for the number of moles of H2. That's going to equal V2, which our unknown gas has a volume of 1.00 liters, divided by the number of moles of X. Okay, If we go through and we solve for this, our number of moles of X is going to equal 0.0446 moles. And we did that by doing kind of a cross multiplication here. So we have 1.00 liter times 0 0.0900 grams of H2 divided by, or times, one mole of H2 divided by 2.02 .02 grams. So our grams of H2 are going to cancel out. We're left with moles here. And that's going to equal 1.00 liters times Nx. Okay? There's 1.0 liter on each side, so they're going to cancel out. We take 0 0.0900 divided by 2.02, .02, and we end up getting 0 0.0446 moles of our gas X. Okay, We said the molecular weight of X is going to equal the grams of X, which is 1.44 grams, which was given right up here, divided by 0 0.0446 moles. If we do that calculation, our molecular weight of X is going to be 32.32 grams. So 32, uh, or, sorry, grams per mole. So if we have 32.32 grams per mole, we could say that our X could be one of two gases. It could be O2 gas or sulfur as a gas. Because if you look at the periodic table, the molecular weight of sulfur is going to be very close to 32, 32 grams per mole, as well as the oxygen, O2, would be 16 times 2, or 32 grams per mole. So the molecular weight of the unknown gas is going to be 32.32 grams per mole, which would give it an identity of either oxygen or sulfur. So here, first, we determined, hey, what do we need in order to determine the molecular weight of our unknown. Molecular weight is in grams per mole. We're given the grams, we need to calculate moles. Then we went through, used Avogadro's law, set up the relationship, and we figured out the number of moles. Then we take the initial amount of grams divided by the number of moles to get our molecular weight here of 32.32 for this particular question.